Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Goblin and welcome to my vlog. Right, okay, so I'm sure the first thing you guys have noticed is that I'm in a slightly more dishevelled state than I would be in normally. That is because today's vlog is going to be done slightly differently to my normal vlog. It's going to be done in stages across the day, and I will explain why in a moment. This is not how I thought this vlog was going to go when I mentioned it being the next one last time. Um, but things have progressed a little faster than I thought they would <laughs> back then, and I already thought things were progressing quite fast. Um, so this is how I've decided to do it based on everything that I know is going on today. So expect different locations throughout the day. I'm not necessarily going to do the full vlog setup just because it's going to be, you know, I, I don't know how things are going to sort of pan out as the day goes on. Um, so as I said last time, this was going to be my home ownership journey part two. So just to update you guys on what's been going on since the last one in January, I have seen a number of properties. I have spoken to a number of mortgage advisors. I'm getting the word right this time. Um, and I have reviewed a couple of those properties that I've seen. And one of them I am planning to today in an offer for. Um, so, very exciting. Now, now you probably understand why I'm doing this vlog like this. Um, instead of how I was originally planning to do it because I wasn't originally thinking that that's what was going to be happening today. Hey! Um, so, the first thing that I'm doing today, after I finish this, I'm washing dress because I've got time to do that. Um, phoning my mortgage advisor to find out how cheeky a first offer I can make will be because I have in mind how much I'd like to pay for this property um, and I want to get as close to that as, as possible um, so yeah I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out how cheeky I can be um, I had attempted to phone him just now, he's not in the office just yet which means I have time to go shower and dress before trying again <laughs> <laughs> um, but only if I wrap this a little bit up now. So yeah, now now you guys know what the next stage is. Um, once I have spoken to him, I will do the next little part of this video to let you know what the stage after is going to be. So yeah, you will probably know in a few seconds. I will know if, well, I already know what the next stage is, but I will, you know, be back with you personally in about... <laughs> However long it takes me to get through the first stage. And I apologise, my voice is a little bit dry and croaky at the moment. I've not been up for very long and I have a bit of a cold. So, <laughs> in case you're wondering what's going on. Alright, okay, so I think that ends this little bit and I will see you guys soon. Okay, so I might have skipped few steps before getting back to you guys but that was only because it took me a while to get hold of my mortgage advisor or the guy I'm hoping will be my mortgage advisor because um, he's certainly the nicer of the two trying to get my attention right now. Um, so my mortgage advisor told me what price he thought I should make my initial offer at which was actually the price that I wanted to make my initial offer at so that was good <laughs> and he did that without me saying what I wanted my initial one to be so you know that's all good that's all great um because it took me a while to get hold of him I skipped straight on to the next step and the next step was putting in the offer so I phoned up the estate agent um the the one who I've been well, first dealt with for this property because I have seen it more than once since I found I did see it with someone else. Put in my offer and she's going to take that to the people who can decide whether or not my first offer will be accepted. Now, it's a first offer and it is a cheeky low offer as well. So there is a chance. There is a chance it won't be accepted and I will need to put in other offers during the course of the day. Obviously, I'm going to let you guys know if that happens. Um, uh, rather interestingly, so as I mentioned earlier, um, I have spoken to a few mortgage advisors 
Um, the mortgage advisor I spoke to before putting the offer in is the one that I would like to go with. He's nice, he's friendly, he doesn't make me feel like I'm being pushed into a corner. There's no sort of aggressiveness about his uh, salesmanship. He doesn't feel like a salesman. That's, that's kind of the important thing. However, the state agents who have the property that I am going for also has one of the mortgage advisors that I have spoken to. And um, after I got off the phone to them, in fact, I was still kind of on the phone to them <laughs> when he started phoning me. Now bearing in mind, I haven't, see, uh, haven't seen him or heard from him since I spoke to him back in January. Um, it's rather, rather quick turnaround, him getting back on the phone, I must say. Um, and, um, yeah, um, I felt, well, he, he offered to waive his, waive his fees, which on the one hand, it's, it's a good thing, but, you know, it will save me a little bit of money in, in the short term. Um, however, he was very, very pushy about it. Very, very pushy about it. And that made me quite uncomfortable, which is kind of what I felt with him anyway. Um, I'm I'm kind of a laid back person. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I am not a person who responds particularly well to feeling like I'm being pushed. And he was making me very much feel like I was being pushed. And that was very uncomfortable for me, especially, you know, I was barely off the phone when he when he called. So I barely had enough time to breathe <laughs> when I had to, you know, to, to, to deal with that. And, you know, I've just done this big, exciting thing. I've put an offer in and the, yeah, I, I felt like I was being sold at. However, I do know from speaking to the, to the nicer one, um, that the two, to my two potential mortgage advisors, both essentially working for the same company. So they've got access to the exact same information and the exact same deals. So, even though may mean a little bit more money in the short term being spent, I may well go with the nicer one. However, since my lovely mummy has been giving me lots of lovely advice, I am planning to speak to her first. See if she agrees with me. <laughs> All right, so like I said, big exciting things are happening. Um, I will keep you guys updated throughout the course of this day because I don't know when people are going to get back to me about various things um but yeah that's that's where we are now um expect this to continue at some point in the future when my hair is finally dry <laughs> as you can see my hair is dry now I still haven't heard back in regards to my offer yet um but I have let my mortgage advisor know which one I'm going with when I'm going forward uh, just because I felt like that was a nice courteous thing to do and will be less hassle um, when I hear back later if it's good news um, or if it's if it's you know you need to you know, maybe put in another offer then I'd like to be able to kind of go okay let me go talk to my guy and I will you know Hopefully everything will move forward from there, whichever way that it's sort of going. As I said, my plan very much is to keep you guys updated and this may take a couple of days. So <laughs> this vlog is going to be a very interesting section-y kind of vlog, but you know, in sort of general terms, I guess, whilst I'm waiting to hear anything at the moment, um, I could talk little bit about my experiences so you know now's as good a time as as any um so as you guys know from my first vlog of the year about becoming a home owner I'm a first time buyer I'm a low income owner and I am you know various various other things that can make it slightly difficult to become a first-time buyer um however 
if you're out there and you're looking to be a first time buyer and you're in that kind of situation, don't be afraid. If you've got, especially if you've got the deposit saved, because the deposit is difficult to get and it is the most important part, um, I think, moving forward because that's, that's going to determine what your, your price range is and, and, you know, as much as your, um, as much as your earnings sort of determine how much you can borrow, your deposit does kind of have a huge impact on, on you know, how, how you, <laughs> what kind of properties you should be looking at. Um, so, yeah, as, as a first time buyer, if you're you know, on your own and it's a little bit scary and a little bit intimidating for you, most of the people that I've met so far, um, like most of the advisors I've met, most of the estate agents that I've met, are really positive um, and really supportive of your decision to do that. Um, and if you come across anybody who isn't, don't try to avoid dealing with them. Um, go with somebody who makes you feel like they are supporting you rather than somebody who makes you feel like you can't do this. Because at the end of the day, for 99% of people, if you can afford to pay rent, given how expensive rent is, you can probably afford a mortgage, you know. Okay, yes, I'm in a fortunate position where the only debt that I kind of have is my student loan, and I don't currently earn enough to pay my student loan back. <laughs> it's just the position that I'm in. Um, my credit rating is pretty good because, you know, I haven't taken out loans in the past. I don't, you know, have these big credit debts or anything like that. In fact, the only reason I have a credit card is to build up my credit. So I just basically let it pay for my Amazon Prime subscription as a secondary step. <laughs> so basically it comes out of that and then I pay, pay it back. <laughs> so just one extra step just to build up my credit rating. Um, so yeah, you know, my experience so far is, you know, all the estate agents I've met have been really nice and really sort of positive about the idea that you know because I'm looking at properties within a realistic price range for my budget um that there's no reason I can't do this and I think that's that's the thing if you are realistic about your expectations realistic about your wants and even to the point of being realistic about you know the compromises that you might need to make um actually a lot of the time people that you're going to encounter and experience are going to make you feel like you are supported and like I said if you come across anybody who makes you feel pushed um, for whatever reason try not to deal with them because you need to feel comfortable in this situation and I'm one of those people that if I feel like I'm being pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed, and pushed I'm sorry I'm just not gonna like you <laughs> I, I'm, I'm an introvert with, you know, at least a certain level of anxiety. I don't like feeling like I'm being pushed in the corner. It does make me react badly and sort of push back. And yes, I know I'm moving around a lot. I'm sorry. I'm, but there's a reason I usually sit down for doing this, <laughs> for doing the vlogging. I'm, you know, a very animated person and being stationary and still isn't, you know, something I find particularly easy. So I do apologise that I am moving and knocking and whatever else whilst I'm doing this. It's just, just going to have to put up with it. I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, a, a lot of my experience so far has been really positive And like the mortgage advisor I am planning to go ahead with is really nice. And yes, there is a fee for using him. But I think he's going to be worth the money because my experience with him so far has been really positive. He's not made me feel like I can't go ahead and do this. In fact, he's given me a lot of good advice and let me know a lot of things that the mortgage advisors I spoke to before him hadn't let me know. Um, and it's stuff that, you know, I feel like I should have been made aware of to a certain point. Um, so, yeah. Um, not quite sure what else to say in this part. I mean, I could, I could talk about my lovely, the, the lovely property that I am going for, but I want to kind of do that, hopefully, once the offer is accepted or once an offer is accepted, you know, 
if I need to make more offers, then that's that's what I'm going to have to do. Um, I know my top limit is where I want to go to with this property. I know where I'd rather where I'd rather have my sort of price for this property, and you know I'm I'm sort of as long as it's within this range, it should work out. It should be fine. Um, but obviously, the less I can get it for. I like my money to work hard for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's where we're at for a minute. I will end this part here, and as I said, I will probably next next part next section of this will be letting you guys know if I've had an offer accepted and whether it's my first offer or whether it's my fourth offer once I've got it accepted that's when I'll film the next part of this I think and I may or may not be in my usual place at that point um I'm just kind of doing this on the fly a little bit at the moment because that kind of that's that kind of a day it's that kind of a day all right so it is now the following day I have heard back about the first offer that I've put in. Unfortunately, it was turned down, so I have put in a second offer, and I'm now back to it. Uh, so this is just a very short, short part, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I apologise, my kitchen is not the tidiest thing in the world. Why do you think I normally have a different setup? <laughs> Anyway, I will update you guys again on the next bit of this. Okay, it has been a long week. Uh, there have been a lot of phone calls, there's been a lot of waiting, it's mostly been a lot of waiting, to be honest. Um, and the waiting part's been fine. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm a patient person, like, waiting for stuff, it, it doesn't bother me um, that much at all. Making lots of phone calls has been really stressful. I do suffer from phone anxiety and it is a thing. Um, a lot of people are not necessarily comfortable doing things via the phone and I'm one of those people and I've, you know, had to make a lot of phone calls this week and I don't like making phone calls. I really don't like, like making phone calls, calls, which then makes accepting phone calls really stressful as well and, um, it has been a long week, and it has been a week, and it has been a few days, obviously it's a that I've filmed anything and I've not sort of done the sort of blow by blow play that I necessarily could have, but to be fair I've been like working and, and everything else and it's just been, it's tiring and stressful and <laughs> stressful because of all the phone calls. Um, so at the moment I'm at a stage where potentially they are going to accept my current offer they have asked to see my agreement in principle um which is a good sign um but i don't officially know yet whether or not i have a flat or or not um i was hoping to hear something today i haven't um which means i'm not going to hear anything till tomorrow and tomorrow for me um is when this vlog is supposed to be going up so i'm filming this this last little last little section of this um, video as it is currently um, so that I can edit it and, and have it in a state where it is almost ready to go um, but I won't finalize it until tomorrow evening when I will after the end card hopefully tag on a, I have a flat <laughs> after the end card tomorrow hopefully there'll be a little I have a flat um, or if not, if I still haven't heard anything, then um, obviously I won't be able to, to tag that on to the end, but fingers crossed that I will be. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to tag that on to the end. Um, but for now, uh, the, the state of affairs is it's been a long and stressful week with lots, lots of phone calls. I hate making phone calls and really, really hate making phone calls. Um, <laughs> to, to the point where I, I'm so glad that I didn't, I only had to make one phone call today, the rest of the time people were phoning me, because <laughs> I hate making phone calls. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a lover of receiving phone calls either, 
making phone calls are just so stressful, especially when you're like, you know, uh, answer machines, I don't, don't deal with answer machines, it's just, such a, no, no, not phone week, not a phone week for somebody with phone anxiety, it really isn't. Um, so, um, that being said, um, this has been a rather unusual vlog, I, I understand that, hopefully you guys have found it sort of interesting, um, I may do other ones in this style in the future, uh, if you guys like it, if not, my other setup is a lot easier. <laughs> no, I know they get done! <laughs> Um, so the next topic, um, is entitled, glass has liquid in it, and now I know exactly what this means, um, and I hope you guys are interested to find out what I mean by this, um, next time. Um, as I said, I hope you guys have found this one interesting, I hope you're looking forward to finding out what the next one is about, and after a long and very stressful week, I will see you next time. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!